For most of my life, I actually felt really uncomfortable when it comes to funeral. I try not to go to the funeral because I just feel like I don't know what to say, what to do. Emotionally, I don't know how to connect. But all of that changed when uh, I spent the last few days or week with my dad before he passed away. As I was struggling with whether I we made the right decision to switch my dad over to palliative care. Would that be able to live uh, maybe several more weeks with us if we didn't make that decision? Trying to wrestle with the grief and loss of my dad and then dealing with the sense of regret, second guessing was quite tormenting. So through that process, I had to turn to God. God, what is this all about? Did I make the right choice to switch my dad over to palliative care? I felt that God was reassuring me, patient, the life of your dad is in my hand. Uh, it is not in your hand. It did not depend on your decision of whether you put him to uh, palliative care or kept him on, uh, on treatment. No, it's in my hand. And uh, now he is in my arms. The first funeral service I ever conducted was for my dad. On behalf of the uh, Kao family, we want to welcome every one of you. Uh, to be at uh, my father, Mr. Kao Heng Shen's memorial service. So in looking back at that time with my dad in 2017, I have no idea that God was preparing me to, uh, to be able to walk with others uh, who have lost a loved one. So in our pain and sadness, we wonder, why? Why is there sickness? Why is there death? And why do we have to endure the pain of separation from the people that we love so dearly? You see, Christianity is not a promise for an easy life. But Christianity promises that no matter how hard the road, how intense the battle, God will be with you wherever you go. Here I am, you know, I have no aspiration to ever to become a pastor uh, throughout most of my life. Yeah, but somehow God called me to be a pastor. I can just kind of see how God is weaving the story together. Here am I, you know, just one out of billions and billions of people in this world. But God has a story to write. Yeah, and I, I'm privileged to be part of that.